Princess and the Frog is a return to classical Disney hand-drawn animation and also a return to the musical. If you do your best each and every day, good things are sure to come your way. So really the approach to the animation is the same as it was done doing Aladdin and Little Mermaid and now this is sort of a return to that whole medium. When we're human and we're gonna be, I'm gonna blow my horn. Traditionally, the princess movies all take place a long time ago in a place far, far away. This one is an American fairy tale that takes place in New Orleans. And so they chose my favorite composer, Randy Newman, to do all the music. He grew up spending every summer in New Orleans. It is just in his blood, and it is a true musical. New Orleans is the city that it is in large part because of the music, and Randy Newman was a natural pick for this movie. In the South End. wanted the picture to reflect New Orleans in the songs. We agreed too, really try and get the raw, unfiltered New Orleans in the soundtrack. So we had musicians from the area play on the track, like Dr. John, he seems like an ambassador of the city and an iconic presence from New Orleans. Dreams do come true in New Orleans. Gumbo is kind of a thematic aspect of the movie because the music is like a gumbo. There are so many influences, so many different styles kind of mixed together. For one thing, this movie has individual songs like Dig a Little Deeper, that's kind of a gospel song. You gotta dig a little This is not an easy song to sing. There's gospel in it, there's blues in it, and I think the message in it is so wonderful. On the other hand, there's a song, Evangeline. It's a love song for Ray the Firefly, which is a nice idea. It's like a Cajun waltz. Look how she lights up the sky. My belle Evangeline. The music is absolutely gorgeous, and it really embodies Ray's soul and his heart. The music is really something fun to work on because it is never the expected thing. Going down the bayou, going down the bayou. It's like gumbo. <laughs> yeah! You know. All the songs, they're just so incredibly memorable. It's fantastic. Now we're cooking. Friends on the Other Side is Randy Newman's song for the villain, and Keith David really sort of tore it up when he performed it. You can blame my friends on the other side. I'm so excited about this film because it's so rich with its music, and it comes through in this film. <laughs> He's gone!